Hey YouTube, it's Everything in Pan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 5112 in VirtualBox or VMware. Uh, this was kind of a highly requested video. Um, there's more videos coming soon, so if a lot of you have been requesting the same video, uh, for me to do the same video in the past videos I've uploaded, um, those are coming, so just be on the lookout for them. But this one was kind of requested, and I have put this one back for a while, and I don't know why, so I'm going to do this one now. Um, so I'm going to use VMware for this because you have to change your bio state for this, and VirtualBox has a really complicated way of doing it. And because they don't have their own like bio screen, um, while VMware does, so I'm going to use VMware for this. So VirtualBox users, you're going to have to look around for how to change your bio state um, because it is required for the video so let's begin you're going to need either VirtualBox or VMware I really recommend VMware for this tutorial just because um, uh, that you have to change your bio state and VirtualBox has a hard way of doing it so I really really recommend VMware for this and you'll also need WinRAR for the uh, ISO and the product key as well so once you get any of those you want to open up either one I'm going to use VMware and then you want to create a new virtual machine and then we're going to use a disk image file I believe it's selected the one we want I'm going to browse anyway just to make sure yep and that'll be in there and then put this as Windows Vista hit next and then put the bill or the machine name as Windows Longhorn Build 5112 hit next and then I'm going to change this storage size to 20 20 gigs I'm going to hit next and I'm going to make sure I have enough RAM so I'm going to do 2 gigs instead and then close that and then hit finish and then we're going to start the machine now here you need to click and hit F2 you're going to have to rapidly click in the machine just to make sure you have it in there and then you rapidly click F2 to get into the BIOS then you want to go down to the system date and you want to go to uh, set this as 07 then hit tab 20 2005 and then you're done then you hit F10 to save and then hit enter to save your changes and now it's going to load up the Longhorn ISO That's why most of my builds of Longhorn have not worked because you'd have to change the bio state. Like for 4074 or 4015, those worked for some reason without having me change the bio date. But when I tried doing this one in VirtualBox, it would not continue because of the date that it was set at. So you just hit uh, install Windows and then it'll get you to this screen. Go ahead and hit next. And then this is where you type in the product key. I'm going to go ahead and do that product key will be in the description I'll be back with you guys once I get that in okay so once you get that in you're going to accept the license terms which is required to use this go ahead and hit custom and I'm gonna change the name creator name to Longhorn 5112 hit next okay so I was wrong on the bio state it's actually um, 721 2005 not 720 2005 that'll be with the product key so if you guys are getting messed up the bio state will be in with the product key so um, that's why you would get that error down below that says something about your bios so now you hit where your uh, virtual drive is and then hit next and then it will start installing and it says your computer will restart during the installation so just let it sit kind of keep track of it and wait for the restart points. I'll be back when we hit those restart points. Okay, so I actually missed the first restart point. It'll get to the screen that says completing installation and you should not restart your machine during this time. 
do not do exactly what, and do exactly what it says don't restart it so um, you're just gonna have to let it sit again and then it will get you to kind of like setting up the computer more and uh, through the next restart so I'll see you guys then okay so to restart again And then what it's going to do is it's kind of going to go through the uh, the user account setup and everything. Maybe you don't even have to. I think it might just log you straight in. Say applying computer settings and waiting for system. Oh, it'll log you straight in. And it says Windows Vista Beta 1 on the bottom right because this is the first Beta 1 that was like released, basically. And there you go. But if you go to Start, then right click on Computer and hit Properties. It will say Windows code name Longhorn version 2005. So you can download. I don't know if this works. It's like a driver pack they have. So, but you can try and use VMware tools. So if you were to do that, um, you'd go to install VMware tools, and then. Sometimes it works, more than likely it probably won't just because it's a beta build and it's Longhorn, you know. So, um, but there you go guys. That is how to install Windows Longhorn Build 5112 in virtu VirtualBox or VMware, excuse me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is another quick tutorial. I'll be having some others out soon. Like this video if it helped you guys out. Uh, share it so that others can see it and um, comment down below your ideas I know I'll get a lot of repeats from the past videos and those are coming I know you guys will be like where's this tutorial I'm trying to get there I'm having other ones do f kind of doing starting up the other series first um, so um, and also subscribe for more videos 